The Pentagon, for many years now, since Vietnam, has worked extremely hard at shaping news and how the media reports that news. We train people to say certain things in a certain way. Well, a militia group linked to terror being backed by Iran and setting up camp on America's doorstep? The propaganda campaign waged by the media was so successful that by 2003, opinion polls showed the vast majority of Americans believed Saddam Hussein was linked to 9-11. This claim was false. The majority believed he possessed stockpiles of weapons of mass destruction. This claim, too, was false. These claims allowed the corporate interests and the administration to frame the attack on Iraq as a justifiable act of self-defense. Lieutenant Colonel Karen Kutkowski worked at the Pentagon. She saw firsthand how the intelligence was distorted to win support for the attack. The information in there drawn from fact, you could find bits and pieces of fact throughout, but framed, articulated, crafted to convince someone of what? Well, of things that weren't true, things that weren't true. 911, Al-Qaeda related to Saddam Hussein, possibly some involvement there. The very things that a year later, President Bush himself denies and, and feigns his surprise. I don't know why everybody thinks that. We, we, we've had no evidence that Saddam Hussein was involved with the September the 11th. Well, I worked in a place where they concentrated on, on preparing this storyline and selling it.